Okay, so uh, welcome everyone. Um, this is just going to be a video on the second lesson of week one. Um, so this will either be on YouTube or on G Drive if you are on campus. So here we're going to be looking at 24 hour time. And I'll be showing you a little bit of how to navigate eLearn to get the booklet as well. Um, so lesson goal is we'll get this open. Uh, so make sure in your uh, notes that you're writing the date. Um, and today we are solving problems dur including duration, including 20, 12 hour and 24 hour time in a single time zone. So we're not looking at converting between time zones just yet. Um, so in your notes, please just uh, write the, a check-in as to how you are going this morning. So you need a Word document um, to be writing your notes in. If you are handwriting notes, um, I recommend that you download the uh, Outlook app onto your phone. And so that way you can take photos of your notes uh, with your phone and then use your student email to email it to me. You've got to make sure that you are checking in with me just so I can keep an eye on um, what work you are doing. Okay. So the first thing that you need to do is um, do two... Two lesson starters, okay? So it's asking you to do the term two starters booklet. So I'll show you how to access that. Let's go to my courses. So if we just pop into Year 8 Maths. Uh, to access the booklet, you need to go into Course Extras. And down here, you will find booklets. And here's the term two booklet and term two starters. So we can open that here. And the Word document will start to open down here. Okay, so here is the um, starters booklet. So what I would like you to, to do as a starter is to have a go at working out these two questions here. So Jim drives 20 kilometers to work. On Monday, his average speed was 80 kilometers per hour. On Tuesday, his average speed was only 20 kilometers per hour. How many more minutes did it take Jim to drive to work on Tuesday and Monday? Okay, so have a go at this. And I will ask that you access the discussion board Here we go. So come into Dr. Brown's class and I will make a thread week one lesson two. So if you have any questions, please come into here and ask any questions here. You can also write in your answers uh, in here or um, suggest some working that you may have done. So once you do that, that'll take you around about 10 minutes or so. I want you to have a brain break. Um, do whatever it is that um, you need to refresh, whether it's going and having a drink of water, running on the spot. Um, that's up to you. Okay, so traditionally what we do is um, we look at 12-hour time. So it's 1 p.m., it's 2 p.m., it's 3 p.m., it's 4 p.m., 1 a.m., 7 a.m., something like that. Um, so that is how we normally describe time in 12 hour time. However, um, there is another way of describing time because there are 24 hours in a, in a day, not 12 hours. Um, another way of describing time is 24 hour time. So with 24 hour time, there's no need to go 3.30 a.m. It's just 03.30, okay? Um, and 3.30 p.m. is 15.30. Um, so I guess your favourite time of the day is uh, 14.40, which is when school finishes each day. So in order to um, calculate what a peak, an afternoon time or an evening time would be in 24-hour time, all you need to do is add 12 
um, to the 12 hour time value. So for 1.15 p.m., uh, you add 12 to 1, so 12 plus 1 is 13, so it's 13.15. Um, for 8.20 p.m., 8 plus 12 is 20, so 2020. Okay, so what I want you to do is hop onto these websites here. And I might try, I might include this HT, uh, this URL in the email that I'm going to send out shortly. Yeah, this is worthwhile. I'll include this in the email. So if you're struggling to access eLearn, um, uh, you'll be able to access this. So have a go at that. Before... I want you to have a look at page 30, page 3 of your booklet, converting to 24-hour time. So again, if you are able to access eLearn, Term 2, Booklet. And once you download this, I suggest just saving it on your computer so you don't have to keep finding it to download. And here we go, page three of your booklet, converting into 24-hour time. So just have a go at answering these questions. Um, again, if you have any need for any help, uh, email me or ask some questions on the discussion thread, week one, lesson two. Uh, I'll be here for the duration of the lesson to answer any questions you might have. After you do that, have a brain break. Um, again, doing what you need to do to um, break up your learning time. And then what we want you to do is to do a write that essay activity. So you should be used to this by now. Um, so simple sentences uh, begin with the subject of the sentence. So if you talk, so the subject is what exactly you are talking about. So whether you're talking about the United Nations, whether you're talking about the book The Hobbit, or the country of Singapore, um, you start with the subject. So I want you to use a simple sentence format to write a sentence about 24-hour time. So 24-hour time is the subject, so you'll be starting your sentence with 24-hour time. Include that in your Word document, or just write it in the discussion board, your choice. Um, so... Next activity that we want to do is uh, a reading activity. So you should be used to this by now. Um, so uh, questioning is reading a text and asking questions about it. So trying to think more in depth into what you are reading in order to have a better understanding of it. And what I want you to do is read through this text, which is a text on 24-hour time. And then start asking some questions. Um, you, don't have to an you don't have to answer the questions, just come up with them. One might be, why do we use 24-hour time? That might be one. Um, so I want you to come up with three questions that you might ask about this text. And finally, you can do this either in a Word document or in your discussion board. I want you to convert 16, 17 to 12-hour to time. 8.45 p.m. to 24-hour time, 7.10 a.m. to 12-hour time, and um, 0.012 to 12-hour time. So have a go at each of those, and that should only take you a minute or so. And if you're able to do that, I'll just show that you have a good idea of the content. Um, yes, so I can't recommend enough using this discussion board. Um, this is great for asking questions, seeking feedback from myself and from your peers. Um, so please hop on here.